The Eagles' defensive line dominated the Saints from start to finish in this game. Watch Javon Hargrave and Fletcher Cox. 93-91 and right here. Hold the point. Now, Alex Singleton comes in with no interference to make one of his 11 tackles. It was all game from start to finish. Hargrave played his best game as a Philadelphia Eagle. Here he is against Nick Easton, just bullying Nick Easton right back into the lap of Taysom Hill, knocking him, knocking him down. The ball had to come out fast. And this Josh Sweat played 27 snaps. Maybe he should play more because he was everywhere in his 27 snaps. They contained the run game, but they got after Taysom Hill. Now, the biggest play early in the first half, Jim Schwartz styles up a double slot blitz. Nikel Roby Coleman, 31, along with Jalen Mills, 21. And Mills gets to Taysom Hill. And the Eagles had only three interceptions all season. In the first 12 games, Duke got Riley. Comes up with an interception. But the key to the blitz was exactly this. Watch the two defensive tackles. Williams, 61, and Malik Jackson, 97, drop out. They robbed the middle of the field. So that Williams is taking Taysom's first read away. And when he comes back, there's Malik Jackson. Six foot seven, 300 pounds in the middle. Makes him hold it. And Jalen Mills gets there. The ball comes out hot. And Duke Riley comes up with the interception. Good blitz. Well executed. The very next play when the Saints got the ball. Javon Hargrave just abuses Andrews Pete right here. He puts him right on his Pete. Knocks him down. Takes down Taysom Hill. Two sacks on the day, number of quarterback hits. Third and one, huge play. Jim Schwartz, prepare. Watch. Five defense linemen on third and one. Unusual call. Five defense linemen anticipating the quarterback power with Taysom Hill. Good game planning, good execution, and watch Derek Barnett, 96, come and crash this party. That's how you take out interference. And then Duke Riley. Comes and finishes it. That started with the five defensive linemen prepared, anticipating the quarterback power, and then Derek Barnett doing his job. Next series, it's third and six. What time is it? It's Fletcher Cox time, of course. That's him going against the rookie, Cesar Ruiz. Drive right across the Walt Waltman Bridge into Camden, and that's where Cesar Ruiz is from. He takes Ruiz and Eric McCoy right here, right into the lap of Taysom Hill. Crushes the inside of that defense. Oh, what's Fletcher doing? Is that military crawl right there? Looks like he's trying out for the Navy SEALs. Nice job, Fletch. And then fourth quarter. The fourth quarter belonged to the Eagles. I mean, you're going to just see one effort after another. Right here, Barnett, Graham, Fletcher Cox. Taysom Hill, that had to hurt. Right on the tailbone. Then fourth and two. Biggest play of the game. Watch Josh Sweat. Coming over, he's going to defeat Josh Hill, the tight end. And then watch the chase. Ball's out. Who's going to get it? Ball's out right in front of the Saints bench. Javon Hargrave with the fumble recovery. Two sacks, a fumble recovery. Three quarterback hits. Sean Payton looking on going, I don't have a chart for that play. That stinks. Four-man rush. Watch Hargrave here. Right over the, the left guard. Just gets on his edge right here. That's a screen. I mean, he hits the quarterback on a screen pass right there. And then Josh Sweat, again, just destroys Teron Armstead. See what he does to him? First of all, he stabs him on the inside shoulder. Then watch his right hand. He lifts his wrist up. Now Armstead has lost his leverage. Now Sweat with power, making Taysom Hill sweat. Josh Sweat, a heck of a game. Six sacks for Josh Sweat this year. It's coming. And then finally, one more, Javon Hargrave. He couldn't get enough. Just bulls his way into it. Brandon Graham's there. Barnett's there. And then Hargrave with the punch to Taysom Hill. And the Eagles' defensive front, eight all day long. Look at the frustration on Teron Armstead, number 72. The worst day that the Saints' offensive line has played all day but that was the Eagles' defensive front playing their best game in well over a year. 